Well, co-workers noticed an Indiana surgeon with tremors and then the smell of alcohol on his breath. That surgeon also tested positive for cocaine use, yet still has his medical license. So how is that even possible? Fox 59 investigator Steve Brown joining us now with details tonight. Steve? Hi there, Fanchin and Dan. We do not know the doctor's name. We do not know the hospitals where he's done surgery. We do know the state's medical association believes this doctor is not safe to practice medicine and wants a federal judge to okay disclosing confidential records to state regulators. In a court filing, the doctor referred to as Dr. John Doe got the attention of the Indiana State Medical Association because co-workers reported the smell of alcohol on his breath and the observation of tremors. Dr. Doe underwent two evaluations through the association's physician assistance program, which found a hair test showed cocaine use, the blood test showed alcohol use. The diagnosis was Dr. Doe has alcohol use disorder and possible stimulant use disorder. But Dr. Doe declined the recommendations to enter a residential treatment program. We wanted to know if that doctor is still practicing. Attorney Tina Bell, a medical malpractice specialist, says it is very unlikely the doctor is still working and still doing surgeries. He was having tremors, he had the smell of alcohol in his breath. Somebody at the hospital heard about that, and it's very likely that his hospital privileges were suspended until he got treatment. Now, information about substance testing or treatment is federally protected. That's why the Medical Association is seeking a court order to disclose what it knows about Dr. Doe to the State Attorney General's office and the Indiana State Licensing Agency. Dan? Steve, how often does this happen when the State Medical Association it has to go to federal court to essentially turn somebody into the authorities. Uh, attorney Tina Bell, who we just heard from in this uh, story, is, says this is extremely rare. In her career, she used to defend doctors, now she sues them. Bell says if Dr. Doe went into treatment, he would have remained anonymous. By refusing, Bell says the State Medical Association was forced to go to court where it's likely this doctor will be named, disclosed, and his career likely permanently damaged. Plus, state regulators will almost certainly go after his license, but this is the path that this doctor has chosen. Dan? Okay, Chief Investigator Steve Brown, welcome to Fox 59. We're so glad you're here. Nearly 40 years uh, in the business, Fox News Channel, a lot of great investigative work out in Buffalo. Uh, we're glad you're here to look into a lot of important issues across the Hoosier State. Wonderful to be here. Looking forward to the work ahead. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Steve.